Halo teman-teman, selamat datang kembali di channel YouTube saya. Ini aku Princess Hardy dengan channel YouTube bernama PX Hardy. So if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell for you to be updated for my future videos. Jadi untuk reaksi video hari ini, aku akan bereaksi terhadap video ini dengan judul Indonesia's First Bullet Train, First Class vs. Economy, Alexander White. So please subscribe to Alexander White for providing this video. So, someone sent me this link yesterday for me to react. And aku terkejut karena Indonesia has a first bullet train. As far as I know, uh, bullet train only exists in Japan and China. Benaran? Tapi aku terkejut because Indonesia has this. Southeast Asian country has this. So, I'm really excited to watch this because this is kind of interesting. Then yeah, I'm excited banget. So let's just see how this goes, okay? So without further ado, let's get right into the reaction video. Dua, tiga, kita mulai. Welcome to Indonesia today. We are trying the very first bullet train here in the first class Aduh. comparing whether it's worth it or should you just stick with the much cheaper economy class ticket. It really looks like so for new. This was uploaded for four months ago. Well guys, good afternoon from Halim Station here, Halim, just south Halim. of Jakarta. Halim. Today we're gonna be doing the fast train. As you can see, the security here is just like at an airport. You gotta check all of your bags before you head into the train. Because it's new, right? So because you've got two new. ways of getting through the ticketing machine. You can actually get a physical ticket downstairs at the okay. ticket counter. Uh, but we have it on the app. The app was actually really easy to book the tickets, uh, which is what I recommend you do. However, it was pretty hard to find the app and find and research all of the information necessary to buy these tickets. So once you actually get here, it's easy. Well, we arrived about 20 wow. minutes early before the train departs. And you can already come out How here long aboard, is this train? check in to the train. This train looks incredible from first impressions. For you. We missed that. <laughs> we have first class tickets. Yeah, but we missed the lounge. <laughs> That's the only thing I want to see. So the first train that we are going to be riding is the first class ticket, first class. which cost 600,000 rupiah How per person, that? which is pretty steep $40? for a 30 minute uh, train ride. However, we're doing this to uh, compare for whether it's worth minute? it or not, uh, compared to the 150,000 rupiah uh, economy mm. class ticket. Is it even worth it? I don't know. Hello. <laughs> Hello. How about? Oh, nice. I see, I see. Let's put our bags back here, yeah? I it too. So let's go ahead and check out this train first while we okay, have okay. the next 20 minutes or so before it departs. Absolutely beautiful. Look at the front of this thing. Wow, that is quite a line building up just at the front. Many people are getting in line to get the shot of the very iconic bullet it's train here. It's very shiny. Parts. We're gonna take the shots inside. And it looks like Transformer. I don't know it giving me so that vibe. So here's the entrance. We got plenty of storage here and the seats. Wow. The air conditioning is just blasting in here. So you got a nice little area to put your phone down okay. if you want. We got lights above you. That's nice. It's the seat overall is pretty large. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's just, all right. Yeah, it's all right actually. The seat is, is very firm, um, just like most mattresses you might expect in, uh, in Asia. Like but uh, very seat. spacious indeed. So these were our seats so 1A and C, well. and I'll tell you later on why we would have chosen different okay. seats. Behind us, we have plenty of space for luggage and recline. We also <laughs> had a coat hook which we used for our hats. Each seat okay. comes with more than enough leg room and a footrest that you can lock and unlock. Next to it was one power outlet with USB plugs for charging, which comes in handy if you're working on a laptop. The seatback pocket in front of us was also big enough to fit my 16-inch MacBook Pro, so that's impressive. Lastly, each chair comes Just with a table as them. there is a meal service on board <laughs> that you'll see later. And as soon as we were off, I started the timer to see how fast we would actually arrive. Oh so man, I almost thought that guy wouldn't wave back. And so it begins. 
It is so quiet in here. You cannot even hear the train that is already going. I think this is better. I think this is way quieter than the one in Malaysia. The one in Malaysia didn't have noise. I don't remember. It didn't have any noise in there. This is much quieter. So I now have a timer set to see how exact is this train. We'll see. Overall, for first impressions, it is extremely quiet in here, so it's hard to talk with people in here. There's only about three, six, nine seats in the first class, and it's extremely, extremely smooth. Okay. Like you can barely feel that you're riding on the train. Yes. I guess that's the new catchphrase for the train. Yes. Now you do yes. also have this whoosh, whoosh, little headrest yes. and you can adjust whoosh, it, which whoosh, is nice. Yes. Oh, it feels better. Good. So far, I can see Ooh, the train is really quick, like We're modern. about 145 kilometers an hour and this is supposed to go up to almost 300 kilometers per hour at top speed. So we'll see how close we get to that That's today. Nice. This really reminds me of uh, the JR train in Japan. It is just as smooth and just as fast. It's just absolutely impressive that Indonesia is just expanding its rail network to include this because this is going to just change travel here in Indonesia completely. Oh, real. Being able to go oh, between real. like Bandung and Jakarta in, in less than 45 minutes is just insane because typically when you're driving it takes about three three hours or so three even on the regular hours. train it takes about three and a half hours so to be able to just shorten that distance to under 45 minutes is just absolutely crazy and i can't wait how much further they expand this rail network you can literally hear the train so three hours and then now it's 30 minutes kilometers an hour and you're, you're starting to really feel it now it oh get chip, get chip we are moving over get 300 <laughs> kilometers an hour, 348 <laughs> to be exact. I'm gonna have to put the conversion down below in miles per hour for all the Americans on this on these uh, videos. But uh, you are really starting to feel it in your head. I don't know why that is. I'm actually kind of happy that uh, we're not gonna be on this train very long. From the other videos I've seen of people riding this train as well, they've also reported the same thing that they're getting dizzy on this train because it's moving so quickly. But overall, from a first class perspective, it's not bad. Um, you're only on the train for 30 minutes or so. But again, the seats are very firm, they're spacious. You're really paying for the leg room here and the privacy and the, the quiet cabin because there's only about nine seats on this train. That's not for me, the person that's vlogging and speaking. <laughs> and if I would say anything, guys, if you're coming from Jakarta, get the, get the seats on the opposite side because it's much better views on the left side going to Bandung compared to uh, on the right side where you're getting a lot of walls and obstructions. So you don't get as great of a view, in my opinion. Um, but if you're coming from Bandung to Jakarta, you want to be sitting um, on the right side, opposite way, of course. And it looks like we get snacks. Snacks are coming around now. So we've just got um, a snack box come out. Um, I think this is for first class. I don't think you get this in uh, in the economy. Maybe in business class. I'm not sure what business class is like. Just yet, because this is the first time riding. But wow. you do get a little pastry here. Okay, from Holland Burger. Bakery, very famous brand here in Indonesia, very good pastries. You also get a, uh, a little apple juice, my favorite kind of juice, and you get a water. So for 600k, you get privacy, you get a really big spacious seat, and you get a nice little uh, quick snack box. I think, I think it's worth it because you also have a snack and then <laughs> spacious space. And it's so quiet, so I think it's worth so it for that seven kind of price. So we got minutes before we arrive. It was that quick. Thirty um, minutes. But before we do, I want to see what the bathroom situation is like in first class. Now the bathroom was brand new, clean. The sink worked. The toilet worked. It was everything you would imagine a bathroom to look like. It smells very good in here. Hopefully, it lasts long. Because sometimes people use it like That's business class. Very bad, and then it turns bad. So. Overall, bathrooms look really nice, very clean. Of course, I expected that with a brand new train. But I also got a sneak peek of business class. Okay. I think business class is a better value. Mm -hmm. 
idea it's the same exact seats there's more people in there but I think it's cheaper and it looks exactly the same as first class I think I think I prefer business class because a lot of people they not scary so we are about to arrive to the station I don't know <laughs> it is nearly exactly it's just the 30 same, minutes right? since we left so I guess very very precise in in how fast and how quick you get here we already arrived so, impressive it doesn't feel like it's 30 minutes it feels like only five minutes yes yeah, so fast five minutes ago i was in jakarta now in but <laughs> <laughs> like literally <laughs> insane <laughs> they already arrived oh. get a there you go all right bye -bye. Got it. <laughs> So what you and think? So it was just so smooth, so fast. Um, do you feel, like, feel do you like feel lightheaded? A little bit. The first three minutes, five minutes, because yeah. it was really, really fast. Yeah. Um, but I personally think for six hundred k, I wouldn't do it again. I personally understand why they don't really have much like so many facility inside, like TV. Yeah. I was expecting to have TV. Yeah, they did. But it was only thirty minutes ride, and we couldn't even feel like it was thirty minutes. So I feel like to have a TV or to get a meal is just too much. Yeah. Because yeah. Because it's just going too fast. So for a snack. He literally gave up five minutes before he arrived, like yeah. ten minutes, five minutes, and I felt like, oh my god, I haven't even finished my finished my snacks. <laughs> and we're already here. We're already here. Yeah. There's really no need for amenities. Uh, oh, however, yeah. we didn't have a VIP lounge like we were expecting. Maybe that actually does exist, and we just didn't have time to explore the uh, station and find it. So uh, however, fast. amenities wise, there's really not too many. And the reason for that is just because of how quick this train is. So tomorrow we are taking the train back to Jakarta actually to see our friend. And we're going to experience what economy is like in comparison to first class. And which one should you choose? Which one? Right, guys, it is two days later. We are back it's here fine. at Paralarang Station. So right. this time around we have tickets. We're not using the app this time. Just to see if there's really any difference uh, okay, okay, so far. Okay. Not really. We're taking the train at 5 o'clock. The earliest train I think you can take uh, is going to be at 7 a.m. And the latest train is, uh, I believe, like 6 or 7 p.m. So the train only okay. runs for about 12 hours, which is... I wish it would run longer so that, you know, if you come late at night into Jakarta on an international flight, you could just take the train uh, at night. But unfortunately, that's not the case. We got more security checks here, similar to an airport, as we already mentioned. Uh, we're in the departure area, Safety. which is just one big room here at the uh, station. And they do have a VIP room, which is one thing that we missed, unfortunately, last time because we didn't come soon enough. But uh, that's what it looks like. Now, unfortunately, because these stations are all brand new, there's still a lot to be built. And one of the downsides of traveling right now at the moment is that there is no food, there's no coffee shops. Uh, aside from the lounge, the VIP lounge, if you're, if you're traveling in a first class or business class. So, unfortunately, there's no snacks. Bring some with you. So one important thing that Kintanya just mentioned is that do not lose this blue little ticket. Uh, one of the inconveniences I have of having a physical ticket is that you have to use this on the way out when you get to Jakarta. Uh, whereas if you have the QR code on your phone, it's much easier. Now it's back. It's back. A train has arrived. It's absolutely insane how many people got their phones out. I'm sure a month or two down the road. This will, Everyone is excited to ride. Subside and uh, push, push, push. Yes. as you can see, it is a packed, <laughs> packed train, all booked up. Push, all right, push, here we push. go. Push, push. I'm thinking of going to Busan. Nine A. So we got this That's why row scared. here with the three seats. And uh, oh, actually, the legroom is pretty nice. Everybody's trying to find their seats. They're not really and that bad. Here. Yeah, yeah. Go, go, go. Right? <laughs> The train is moving and nobody's even seated. Maybe it's, it's just crowded. Chaos on this train right now. In the we are on this train finally. Very not comfortable. You're not comfortable. <laughs> I have to do like this. I'm sorry. So economy here. Okay. 
has some recline. I don't want to recline all the way back because I got people behind me. This is a full economy carriage here. We're on okay, this is car okay. number two, I believe. Um, plenty of legroom actually. There's no footrest though, like there was in uh, first class. You do have a little pocket in front of your seat and a nice little tray that's actually pretty far away from your seat to be honest with you. <laughs> the seats are also configured in a, uh, a three and two configuration. And we have already hit 330 kilometers an hour. The train is just flying. Now the differences between first and economy is actually quite significant. We don't get any meals on board here. There's a lot more people in here. Um, so it's a little bit louder with people talking. Uh, however, it, the seats are very simplistic if that's what you're really going for uh, compared to first class where it's just bigger seats, much wider. Um, the comfort level is about the same to be honest with you um, because they are very firm and uh, these seats are just about the same but we got three people seated together. But remember, people are just using this train to get from point A to point B so that's really what this train is meant for. And overall, the facilities are all brand new. They do have baggage compartments overhead for small bags and carry-ons and that's really about it. But first, before we finish, let's go check out the bathroom. I want to see if it's different than first class. And to save you guys the time, it's, the it's exactly the same as first class. I like the quality. No bathroom for Just village as fast treatment. As I have gone to the bathroom, we've already arrived. I think one of the most impressive things, even besides the train itself, is the station and the uh -huh, many uh -huh. stations that they've been able to build over the last, what, two, two three years that they've uh, had this project going on. Uh, it's, there's still a lot of developments to be, to be uh, improved upon, such as uh, adding cafes and restaurants, but yeah, it's still new. overall, it's this still is a new, great though. start for Indonesia. So this is the exact reason why you should not lose your ticket, because you're going to need it to get out, of course. Oh, so if you lose it, you cannot go out. Take that, thank you. So as you guys arrive okay, here, there are never plenty of taxis for you to choose from. Lots of bluebirds waiting, and uh, we got a grab actually fairly quickly. Wow, I'm speechless the whole video because I was internalizing what I see. It's almost done. Alright guys, we arrived at the hotel room. Last night was really late, we just passed out. A uh, long day of travel, but overall, amazing experience. I'm definitely going to be doing this train again <laughs> because it was so good. Let me know what you guys think. Have you guys been on this train and uh, whether you think business class, first class is actually worth upgrading to compared to the economy ticket. Wow, that was cool, that was cool. So let's give a hand, so please subscribe to Alexander White for providing this video. It was an amazing video and very informative as well. So, that's it. I see that Indonesia really has the Indonesia's first bullet train. The like, Philippines doesn't have this. Our trains came from Indonesia, made from Indonesia, some of it. And it's not that good as this, but I'm really proud or I'm happy as well that Indonesia has this kind of train, like in first ever Southeast Asia, right? And yeah, it's really interesting to see how the first class and the economy class, the difference is just that the first class is, yeah, first class, like, you know, it's more spacious and not really that loud and it's just quiet so if you are really rich rich kamu kaya you can go to first class but i'm happy that she also showed us how economy class looks like so it's really interesting to see that this bullet train in indonesia totally exists like the economy of indonesia is already rising and i'm really happy that many boring country in indonesia have this kind of economy development like bullet train so i hope philippines my country as well will um contribute or like um invest invest i mean invest to this kind of train like yo we need this i don't like long rides <laughs> so yeah this is all for today's action video i hope you like it and i will see you soon to my next action video Terima kasih. Bye -bye.